if uh, if we look at this, uh, if we look at the parasha, which I'm not talking about the parasha, but the idea that comes from the parasha, the one might think that he came across a, a chapter in Wikipedia for dermatology, you know, beginning dermatologist, you know, uh, skin skin disease, psoriasis, <laughs> and so on and so forth. And which is really bizarre. I mean, a person speaks Lashon Hara, let's take the Lashon Hara business, because that's what I really want to talk about. And all of a sudden, it gets, it gets skin disease. I mean, come on. Bermet. Doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. And, and, and apparently, either that, or I'm just getting everything wrong. I'm speaking Lashon Hara, you get Sarat. What kind of thing is that? So, the problem is that we always look at at small sections, small compartments, instead of seeing the big picture. The big picture is like this. All right. So a person comes and he speaks Lashon Hara. All right. Truth of the matter is, what's wrong with a little bit of gossip? After all, uh, that's what we always strive for, right? You know, you go to Yahoo, OMG, this one married the other one, that one married this one, this one bought a new dress, this one bought a new pen, he cheated on her. It's gossip. Everybody likes a little dirt. What happens if I say even the truth about someone? I'm saying the truth. You know, I said this guy is a lousy person. I'm saying the truth. What's the big deal? The big deal is like this. Chazal tells us that the, when you speak Lashon Hara, there are three people who get hurt. The one you talk about, the one who is talking, and the one that is listening. I tried to make it short, so it's Friday today, and we have to flip some burgers. So we have to mix some chulant. So the question is like this. Okay, I understand. I understand the person who you speak about, Lashon Hara. Okay, you. Motsi Shemra. Tzara, Metzora, Metzora, Chazal says, Mishum Shu, Motsi Shemra. Right? He's, he's making somebody look bad. Motsi Shemra, Metzora. It's a remes, it's a hint. So I can understand. But why is the person who's saying, or the person who's listening, so let's say the person who's listening, I hear too. All right, now I change his opinion about this guy. But if I change his opinion, why is he getting hurt? What's, what's the story about that? Bichlal, the person who is talking, Lashonara, he should be the one who doesn't get it. You know, why, are you being, why is he being affected altogether? Okay, so the person who we spoke about, Lashonara, okay, we all understand. I spoke Lashonara, and this person, for whatever reason, something bad happened to him, we changed his opinion of a person. Okay, we understand that. But the two other people, what happens like this? We explained yesterday that when a person is motzi shemra, he first of all talks about himself. You talk about a quality that is in you, and you verbalize something that is really in you. Otherwise, it would not bother you. The cognitive dissonance that is inside of us, right, creates us many times to verbalize something that we feel on ourselves, and we apply it on others. Sounds like psychology, but that's what we do. We would not see the, the problem that we have, we would see it by others. That's why when he would look at something and I would look at something, we reacted completely. He would say, I don't know, I don't see what's the problem here. And I would say, it's impossible, it's impossible. He doesn't have this problem. I have this problem. But where do I have the problem? Within myself. So this, this verbalization of what I feel inside comes to makes me apply it or project it on someone else. But when I speak Lashon Hara, even if it's the truth, there's something a little deeper than that. The truth of the matter is that I don't really, I'm not really interested in, in the truth. I'm not really interested in solving the problem. I am a very weak person that I am trying to make myself important or as they say to score points on somebody else's back 
When I'm going to say how bad you are, it is not because I want to fix something. Because I will tell you, listen, you know, you, what you're doing is wrong. But when I speak about you, I'm not really talking about you. I'm talking about how great I am and how bad you are. So when I speak Lashon Hara about someone, it is only to make me feel good. And, and this is a very negative thing to do. That's for cowards. Because if you're a real hero, say, listen, I want to tell you something. What you're doing is not right. This is not right. This thing is not right. But when you go behind the back, and, and that's why people who are manipulative, or passive-aggressive people, are cowards. Why are you manipulating everything? You got something to say. Go ahead and say it. Why are you pushing this one? You try to create some kind of like a vector. You know, I'm going to go here, and this is going to go here, and this is going to be, what are you, playing pool? Are you playing billiards? Trying to figure out the angle so it will go like this. You want something, go ahead, take the ball, put it in the basket. That's what we do. So the person, so that's the person who speaks Lashon Hara. How about the person who listens to Lashon Hara? And now he's in the same bed with the other guy. He also feels good. Hey, man, you're right, you know, I hear your point. You're absolutely right. So he also feels good about himself. Even if the Lashon Hara is true, but it's, it is, it's done from such a point of inferior. You are so weak. You are, you are a fake. You're not really, you don't really care. You're not trying to find a solution. Listen, if there, there is a limit to Lashon Hara as well. There's a limit to how much we should be careful with it. Like anything else. Take Gedalia ben Achikam, right? He didn't want to listen to Lashon Hara. They killed him. There's a limit to everything. That's why you need to use judgment. If somebody is telling you, listen, this guy wants to kill you. Oh, Lashon Hara, I can't listen to it. Oh, Habibi Maze. It's not right. There's something to do. Or if somebody comes to tell you, I'm telling you, you know, why do you buy uh, pot or drugs from this guy? You don't understand what he's doing to you? I'm, but I'm talking to you directly. I'm not going to, let's say, uh, Yoshua is saying, you know, he's, do you know that he's selling him drugs and he sells and he buys and so on and so forth? But I can't believe that. You know, this guy, who would have thought? I'm going to you directly and I'm going to him directly. That's a, that's a person who really wants something to be done. Everybody wants to sit outside. And the matter of Lashon Hara is also because of what we do many times. We are not interested in solving the problem. We are interested in continuing creating the problem. Maintaining the status quo because our lives are so boring. We live, we, we live like on, on life support of life. So we need a little bit of drama to make our life exciting. But this drama, somebody pays the price for it. And what you're doing is you're doing wrong. You want some excitement? Not a problem. Go live life. Enjoy. Do something. Build. Destroy. Be in construction. Be in reconstruction. Do this. Do that. Have some meaning in your life. That's why your life is boring, because there's no meaning in your life. Go seek some meaning in your life. Do something important. Volunteer to help some, some people. Go work in some uh, rehab center. Do something positive in your life. Your life is not going to be boring. It's going to be full with meaning. When we are manipulative, when we are passive-aggressive, we handed the, key, the car, the wheel, to somebody else to drive, and then we complain about it. Oh, they're ruining my life. They're doing this. Why, why did you let them? Get control over your life. Take the wheel back to yourself. Drive your car. So if yesterday we say that Lashon Hara, I'm, I'm sorry, that Sarat is a direct result of, of your action is not a punishment when you get the tzarat. Here I want to tell you, Lashon Hara 
Lashon hara, when a person speaks Lashon hara, and because of that he gets sarat, it's because he chose not to do anything besides talking. So that's an interesting idea. But nevertheless, we never answer the question, how does, what's the connection? I'm speaking Lashon hara, I have, I have some kind of like a behavioral problem or cognitive problem, I don't settle down with myself a little bit, I'm very weak, so that's why when I speak, I speak and I get, the, I get skin disease. What's the connection? The connection is very simple. And this is the, the maybe we'll talk about it Bezat Hashem next week. This is the, the, the silver lining that goes throughout almost Sefer Vaikra. I think the heart of Sefer Vaikra is really the, the Pasuk Dushim Tiyu. And what does it mean? We think that religious holiness, being holy, means doing all these things, you know, fasting for 40 days, rolling in snow, not talking, not doing this, and that, 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 No, 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 you're wrong. That does not bring you holiness. Kedusha, holiness, it's not that you don't talk. It's not that you don't drink. It's not that you don't eat. But you do it the right way. When you speak, Always speak dvarim tovim, good words. The kedusha starts with your words. Starts with the most simple action of your life. In other words, when you become holy, you become holy by doing things, not by not doing things. Kedoshim to you, you will be. You you will become how you will become. You have to do it. In that Kedoshim, I will make you Kedoshim. Kedoshim atem ki, because I need Kedoshim. Kedoshim tihi you. It's a commandment to sanctify yourself. Don't just sit there and think that somebody's going to pour holy water on you and you become holy by doing absolutely nothing. That is wrong. Kedusha comes from Asiyah, from doing something. I need to be active, and I need to be active in a positive way. So the, the least of your actions that you could do is speak. That's the connection between, between Kedusha and Tahara. Between Tum'ah and Tahara. You have to not just guard your tongue. What does it mean guard my tongue? So I won't talk at all. That, that doesn't do it. You have to speak. Like, in, in a positive way. Find a way to help a situation. There's a bad situation. Okay, there is a guy who is a bad person. But how are we going to solve the situation? So I'm going to tell you that he's bad. You already know he's bad. So let me try to solve the situation. Let me try to make the situation better by doing something positive. Not to make wars. If there needs, Listen, if there needs to be a war... Hey, just bring it on and, and, and you know you lose. Because I'm very serious about what I do. But why go into a war? Let's try to solve it. The, the, there's an expression, they say, the best sword is the sword that was never had to be drawn. The best swordman is the one who never had to draw a sword. Because that's the last resort. You try to make things happen. So listen, you know... God bless you, move somewhere else, do something else. Don't come to, and that's why I'm very much, myself personally, very much against people who try to control, divide, and conquer. These are people with lack of emuna. I'll talk to you against him, I'll talk to him against you, so you will be away from each other, so I can come in like a wedge in between you, so I can say, ah, I'm here. I, I'm important. He needs me because he hates him, and he needs me because he hates him, and now I, I'm the king of the hill. That doesn't work like this. That doesn't work like this. A person like this is a person who is lacking in his emuna. That's why Lashon Hara, gossiping, he has it. He does. So, okay, so he has it. So he has a Mercedes. So yeah, you see what he bought? Man, he has a BMW, and and any and he, and he uh, I don't know what, uh, a nice and a nice Rolex, and he has guys for breakfast to buy him breakfast, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, what do you care? 
What, the, what does it do to you? So, okay, so Hashem granted him with a nice uh, Rolex and with a nice uh, BMW, or with, which I don't really like BMW, no offense. I don't really like the you know, BMW. I don't like Mercedes either. But let's say that's what God, Kadosh Baruch granted him. What, how is this going to benefit the situation? Is this going to make any, anything positive around? When I'm going to say to you, you know, he got a Porsche now. Okay, so he got a Porsche. Now, now what? What happens? Why am I telling you that? Because I want you to be jealous of him. Because we're going to gang together to be against him. I'm trying to connect with you on a negative, on a negative playing field. I'm not saying to you, you know what, this guy, you know, he's such a potential in him. How we can bring him here to yeshiva to come to learn? This is such a tremendous businessman. He has such a mind. How can we make him bring him here? I'm trying to bring him. What, what, does, what is going to make any difference that he has a Mercedes or is a Jeep or he has an airplane? makes no purpose whatsoever. It's purposeless. And as I said to you before, the biggest curse in the Torah is to be a purposeless person. We have to be connected to Kedusha. And connecting to Kedusha is through positive doing. A positive, continuous action. Not idle. Idle talking like idle in your car, right? You just sit there and the, and the engine runs. You're just burning gas useless. It's a waste of resources. And that's exactly why the media is always about gossiping, who married who, who cheated on who, and so on and so forth. That's why everybody buy all those tabloids, because they want to connect on the lowest level of interaction, and that's negative. Look at the positive. Gain control over your life, fill your life with meaning, and this is how you become holy. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.